Dungeons and Dragons. And Junk Drawer. What's up, guys? Hello. Hello. It's that one. <laughs> we are back with our second uh, one shot before we get into campaign two. Uh, Mike is trying his hand as the dungeon master today, so it's going to be terrible. Um, oh. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so this is really just one shot number two. Uh, we're all playing different characters again, and yeah, that's really it. Uh, we're trying, so because we're using physical maps as opposed to uh, digital ones, we're trying Google Hangouts, so forgive any audio things. Um, if you know more than I do, which is likely, tell me how to fix it, and I will give you a hug. Maybe. From Colorado. From Colorado. Maybe you live in Colorado. We can be <coughs> friends. <coughs> do we want to go through and, and say our characters? or? We'll get there in a minute. Okay. So, uh, thank you guys for all watching. Um, so today, our one shot that we're going to be playing is called The Low Crater. Uh, it's by Winghorn Press, and I got it from DM's Guild. So shout out to Winghorn Press, shout out to DM's Guild, and shout out to Kraken Dice for my DM's Dice, because I'm really excited to use them. Um, they will not sponsor you. <laughs> they won't, but I can dream, so god damn it, Pat, we have this. Um, so before we jump into it, um, the story of the low crater. Um, let's go ahead and introduce the players, starting with Felder. Uh, hi, I'm Felder Nusk, and uh, I'm just small and frightened all the time. Uh, it's my good friend Jack, and we go on adventures together with a much larger friend who I hide behind most times, um, Trip. So they can talk now because I don't want to anymore. <laughs> character <clears throat> yeah um my name is Jack for I trope um I'm from a very simple monastery I was in the army doesn't matter sorry it doesn't matter um best friends with Felder here uh main goal is to get him to stop being so uptight uh I'm not that it's if I put a coal up your ass it'd be a diamond Later, I'd be rich. <laughs> uh, I also like to hang out with Trev because we really, I like to spar with him a lot. And then Carter kind of scares me, but that's okay. It's, his name's Kava with a V. I said that. So Carter with the V really scares me because he's like, you know, horns. I'm a human. I'm, I'm a human, by the way. So that's also really intimidating. Why does my hair taste like that? You haven't showered in. Oh, while. Uh, Trev? Yeah, I'm Trev. I don't know. Uh, I tend to go in the front where I get hit and take care of my little buddies. Uh, I'm human as well. Uh, I like to hit things with my great axe. Sometimes I get mad. It makes me take damage even better. So I take that to my advantage. And then you have Carver over here. Uh, yeah, I'm Carver. Uh, I'm not from the same place as these guys, but they've taken me in. I have a past that I'm not too keen to talk about, but I'm on a bit of a redemption path. Um, and that's why I'm with these guys. Cool. All right, and if no one else has anything to say... Call him a paladin. <clears throat> there we go. All right, so we got... Uh, just to recap for everyone at home, Felder is a wizard. Then we have Monk in Jack. Trev is the barbarian. And Carver is a paladin. So let's have some fun. All right, so let's begin. Um, gentlemen, as we embark on this journey, you guys have currently been on the road for about four, five hours or so. Been very quiet. The trail that you've been on runs through lightly wooded hills and meadows. The sky overhead is clear. Uh, you guys are currently on your way to the city of Octero, which is a well-known uh, hub for the Raven Queen. Uh, and you're on your way there as you're looking for some work. However, before you get there, as you round a bend, 
You catch the glint of sunlight on metal. Half a dozen armored figures are lying down or sitting on the side of the road, apparently resting. Most have their helms off, and you can see that several are nursing cuts and small injuries. One of them, uh, one of the men, an elf with long blonde hair hanging down to his shoulders, seems to notice you and barks a warning to his allies. They weary stumble to their feet and pull their weapons as the elf hails you with a yell, Oi! Friend of foe! Friend? Sure. Friend? Friend? Friend. Don't hurt me, please. I'm... We're just passing through. I find like somewhere to kind of hide behind. I'm like, duh. All right, well, you're clearly more of a friend than a foe. All right, gentlemen, you can go back to resting. Sorry, we've just kind of, kind of been run through a bit of a ringer here. What happened? I don't know if you guys will even. Even believe it if I told you, but it's fucking kobolds. Kobolds. I know about kobolds. Go ahead and uh, roll a uh, intelligence check for me. Okay. Ooh, it's Brig Bane. Uh, seventeen. Cool. All right. So general intelligence check. Did you roll one <clears throat> to Carver? I thought I heard it. Yeah, I got a nat twenty. Nat twenty. Cool. So you guys know that uh, kobolds are. Uh, slightly uh, humanoid in nature, but they're basically l- tiny little evil dragon people. Mm-hmm. Um, they are very, um, very small, very weak, but they work well in numbers. Um, and they're also very, very tricky individuals. But they're basically little, like, kind of fiendish some bitches. Best way to describe them. Okay. Would, would, would I have more intimate knowledge being a dragonborn? Uh, no, because they're they're like they're dragonoid. They're not like dragonborn. Similar to you are. Okay. Yeah. They're more of a new sense. <laughs> yeah. They did this. There's um, <clears throat> basically. Uh, by the way, Frinal is the name. Frinal. Um. <clears throat> so. There's a crater down there. Oh, up there. Inside that crater is a, uh... Well, what used to be a dragon's lair. So, what kind of happened here is the kobolds have inhabited this crater and are trying to get all of the dragon's wealth. Uh, You guys seem like you have a little bit of a knowledge about kobolds. They're shifty and they like to steal anything that could be worth anything. So, realistically... We were going in there just trying to keep them out of the hands of all of this wealth that could be down at the bottom of the crater. But there's just so fucking many of them. Like, we couldn't contain it. There's traps all over the place. They, j- they just swarmed us. I mean, hell, we have at least two of our men lost in there. One of them was captured, and one of them, I think, is dead. It's unfortunate. Hmm. But we can go and check it out. I'm sorry, what? I mean, well, if that's something that you think you'd be able to do, I mean, we're all part of a group called Disabled Spears, so if you happen to see any of us in there, that would be um, that would be beneficial. Uh, there was a dwarf of ours. He's the one that I think is dead. Uh, his name is Milgna. Um, real big, burly guy. Um, and then... Uh, there was another, another one of ours too. He was uh, actually my my my, my bunkmate, uh, Piotr. Ah, oh, okay. I uh, so sorry. It's bright, dude. Um, so it's like there's like a lot of them. Like, do you have like insignias, or we can differentiate between the kobolds and your friends? Well, um, the the one thing that you'll at least be lucky with is um, the kobolds are about. Like maybe like three and a half feet tall. Yeah. Um, and they're not humans. Um, and our friends are humans. That's fair. So I thought, he, he was a dwarf. I thought you said he was a dwarf. But yeah, humanoid in the fact that like he looks like a person. You I'm, know. I mean, all insight. I don't see race, so that's like that's. They're short. 
yeah, he's telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, I mean, realistically, if you think you guys could help us out, basically, we're trying to get uh, Peter back. I'm sorry, Peter. Peter, we're trying to get Peter back. I was thinking of your other old character. <laughs> he's coming back. A reference. If he um, dead? no, he broke the leg. If we could possibly, if you guys could possibly get Peter out, um, I'll I'll pay you. We'll pay you. No. Oh. Mm. I mean, uh, if if he's alive and you can get him out, I got two thousand gold pieces. And if you can't, if you can't get him out alive, if you could at least bring us his silver sable amulet, I'm holding up mine right now. You can bring out his silver sable amulet. I'll at least give you a thousand. Four hundred bucks. Is that a thousand for each one? No, no. <laughs> you think I made of money? All right. <laughs> well, you did say you had two thousand already. It, well, yeah, I have two thousand. I don't have eight thousand. That's like, come on, who's got that kind of money? You seem I like wealthy <laughs> gentlemen. Hey, Armando. <laughs> do, do you have any friends that are kobolds? No. So it's safe to say any kobolds we see. Okay. Then, we kill yeah. them. Okay. What's a kobold? Yeah, I mean, we'll find out. It's, it's uh, me, but half my size. <gasps> Actually, probably more small than that, but I I get what you're saying, Carver. Uh, uh, we got it. It'll maybe it, it could be fine. Sort of like baby Carvers. Baby, yes, baby Carvers. Oh, we gotta kill babies, dude. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed that. I mean, like, so if you guys, I mean, are you if you're serious about it, like. Hell yeah! He holds up a, a, a bag of coin, mm -hmm. saying, like, I I'm serious, too. We'll, we're gonna be right here. Um, when he pulls out the bag, um, go ahead and roll a perception check. Okay. Because you're the one that's kind of, like, leading this drunkenly. <laughs> uh, I'm, doing, I'm very hungover. I'm doing my best. Everyone's very loud. Um, okay, you said... Uh, perception. Perception? Okay. A great start. Um... Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, that's that's uh, good enough. <clears throat> you notice that when he pulls out the bag of money, there's another bag that falls out of his pocket as well. You dropped your bag. Oh, <laughs> oh. Um. Well. Yeah. Um. Milgna <laughs> used to love these things. Um. If you guys want to take them with you, uh. What, what is it? They? It's uh. Here you go. Uh, I have a passive perception of 16 as well, by the way. Okay. Me too. <gasps> Ooh, they're candies. Yeah, so Ooh, that's okay. basically some candy that he uh, he, he likes to eat. Um, just be careful with it, because, um, you know, sometimes you'll eat it and, like, you start flying, and, which is cool, and sometimes you'll eat it and you might blow up. But, like... <gasps> That that's all I knew. He used to, he was he was always a little bit of a a, a, a scamp in a sense. So, Carver, we have sorry, we have candy. So if, like you want some, you have it. How much? I'll candy. take some candy. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. It says nineteen on this piece because it's, it's from before. <laughs> from before, yeah. Yeah, we got twenty pieces. I got five pieces each. I like to distribute the candy amongst the five of us. Okay, so you guys all have... Or the four of us. You guys now all have five right. pieces of candy from Martel's bag of magic candy. Hell oh, yeah. God. Five candy pieces. Do you also have alcohol? Um, uh, let me go check... To see I'll also happens. take, like, uh, torch fluid. That's fine, too. Uh, go ahead and roll a persuasion okay. check. Okay. One that's on top of the is is this an actual item we can find to add? It's you're not going to be able to find it to add to your inventory. Okay. Hand in the little bags. Oh god. Uh, I got a natural eighteen. A natural eighteen. Uh, yeah. Let me see if I have. Uh, I don't know about the booze because we were just on a mission, but I might have some 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 uh, fluid for you to get some torches going. Yeah, yeah, for the torches. And um. He goes ahead drink and torch fluid. Tell, please don't do that. Uh, he, he, he does have some torch fluid, so that way. Oh, uh, thank you, so, uh, sir. While you're back there, do you happen to have any healers' kits? They'd be very helpful on this journey. Uh, I w wish that I could, but as you can see, all the men in my group here are pretty banged up, so we kind of need all the healing we can get on this side right now. If you would like us to get your man back, 
it would be very helpful if I could heal my comrades. Uh, yeah, I, I understand that, but we literally have people dying here right now, so I'm healing them at the moment. Is, is there anywhere else we could go to maybe get some? In close, or...? No, the nearest city's at least two days travel out. Oh, I guess Steve's pop-up here. I don't know if he's made his way here yet. Who's oh, Steve? You... never mind. Yeah, let's do this, bitch. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to summon my familiar. Uh, it's an owl that Jack named Hootie because it sounded like booby. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to have him kind of go... How, about how far away are we from this crater that they were talking about? Uh, as of right now, uh, you got a little bit of a ways to go to get up the hill to get to the ridge um, that drops you into it. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say that right now you're probably um, at least like 1,500 feet <clears throat> from the entrance. Okay. Um, Trev, yeah. could you carry me and I'll look through Hootie's eyes. Do you want to go like piggyback or like just no, monkey I'm backpack? I'm going to have a hard time like holding on and I'm not very strong. I got you. I could hold on to you. Just sit on my neck and I'll just do like this and i just carry you on my back. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. And if you fall, I'll catch you. Oh, okay. Heartwarming. So I'm going to go through and uh, use my familiar and kind of scout ahead. I have to pull up the stats for an owl. Okay. I'll also catch you. <laughs> I'm also not facing you, while I say. <laughs> Hooray. Oh, you startled me. <laughs> well, I mean, I, we really, the Silver Sables really appreciate any help that you guys can give us. So, I mean, I hope that the, the, the torch fluid, the candy, and uh, the eventual coin... I bid you guys some safe travels, but just be careful. Be on the lookout. Like I said, that place is rigged with traps. It's the best advice I could give you. I put my hands on uh, his shoulder. It's like, don't worry. We're going to find Milton and the dead guy. Well, Milton is the dead guy. That's pizza what I... is oh, the pizza. one. <laughs> We're going to find him. Yeah, pizza is the one who's still in there. He's so pretty. I, I reach out to shake. Uh, what, what's his name again? Uh, Frainel. Frainel. I reach out to shake Frainel's hand. Like, thank you. We will get your men back. Thank you. We got this, Frank. Yeah. This guy is Frank, right? Yes. Close yes. enough. Close enough. I'm so good at names. It's so good. So you really good. are the smartest here. I, I, I didn't want to say it. Oh, I'll say it for you. I know, I know you're kidding, but it kind of hurts my feelings. But that's don't be. Of... It's okay. To be nothing wrong with silver, buddy. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> should, we, should we go? All right, so now I'm going uh, to jump we'll into mm -hmm. and I'm going to scout ahead, uh, just making consistent perception oh, checks, looking for any kind of sign of the kobolds, how many there are, if there's anything else like on the way, if there's anyone around that area. Okay. Um, so are, while that's happening, are you guys just going to be going up, working your way up the hill to get to the entrance to the crater? Yeah. Do we have yeah. any like uh, mounts, like horses, or we're walking? Um, I would say that you probably would leave your horses with the silver sables, okay. so that way they're safe because okay. you won't be able to bring them. Uh, they would have given you the advice <clears throat> that you won't be able to bring them in with you. Okay, so I'm gonna stay close to. I'm gonna assume Carver. Are you in the back? Um. Or... Well, yeah. So is Tre Trev's leave it leading, right? Okay. So no, Trev is. Leading. Well, I guess I'm. I'm I'm protection, so I, I don't mind leading. Uh, I'm just going to be behind Trev in case uh, Felder. Felder falls back. Then I'll go in the middle. But I'm going to sway as I do it. Okay. Still trying to shake off this angle for that. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Great boy, it helps. Am I rolling perception? Yeah, yeah you can go ahead and roll a couple perception checks while you wait. Make your way up there. These are at advantage, which is exciting. Uh, first one's 15. Ooh, ooh. Okay. second one's 22. I'll just roll three. Three, yeah. Uh, the other one's a seven. So 15, 22, and seven. Okay. Um, so as you're making your way up towards the top, uh, you 
don't notice anything out of the ordinary. You don't see any kobolds kind of like through the trees or anything like that. Um, especially on the last one, as you're getting towards the top of the crater, um, can't really the entrance to the crater. You really can't make anything out. I'll let you go ahead and make one more though, because um, I'll say you did one of those for each of the 500 feet to get up to the top. Mm. But right now, you guys are approaching um, the low crater. So That's terrible. Uh, those are the same for both. 15. 15? Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, so the path uh, climbs slowly upwards until you are well into the high hills. Uh, and just as you begin to wonder how much further until the crater can be, uh, uh, until the crater can be, you come on top of a ridge and find yourself staring down into it. From above the low crater, it looks like a bowl has been cut into the earth um, and filled with a jumble of rubble, jagged rocks, and soil. Plants are slowly reclaiming the edges of the depression, but much of the land is still mottled brown and gray. Down below, a pair of torches seem to guide the eye towards the black opening of a tunnel carved into the debris. So you guys now can clearly tell through your perception check that that's where you guys are heading is into that tunnel. Okay. As um, you said that there are plants coming up, like there's green around the, the brown? It's starting to come in. Okay. Um, so it, 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 the world, the, the, the earth around it is starting to grow back. Okay, I want to go down to one of the green pieces and mm-hmm. just kind of pray to Bahamut, just as like a uh, a, a a thank a thanks for redemption for okay. reclamation. Go right ahead. That was it. I'm not gonna actually say it. Okay, it's silent. Knowing, knowing that Father can't hear me, I'm like, you see anything? Hello. You, you see no, anything? he can't hear you. Why not? Because he's doing his, like, blind, I'm deaf and dumb thing. You can just, like, say things that are on your chest that, you know, you, you normally can't tell him. Like, watch, well, I'll go. When I was, in, when I was six, uh, I, I had a very poor experience at a church, and I pooped my pants. See, he would laugh at me for that. But because he can't hear me, it's okay. And then now I feel better. Huh. Now you go. Um. Last night, I went to go pee, and I didn't realize your bag was there, and I peed in your bag. See, that's funny, but it's it also... Feel better. But you feel better, now you're not holding that. Yeah, I feel like the weight of the world is off my shoulders. Yeah. Like the uh, sometimes I put on uh, Felder's clothes because it makes me feel big and strong. Is that why his stuff keeps breaking? Like yes. his, like he has... Ah. That's, that's why it's stretched out. I worry about Please him. do not tell him I owe him a lot of money. No, that's fine. That's fine. He thinks he's got it bigger, but he's like five. One. It's like five, six. It's real small. And he's like a string bean. He's like 120. I'm also like, the, I'm like the same height, but I don't know that. I'm Jack. Are we getting ready? <laughs> like, am I, are, should we, are we getting like, yeah, we, we explore it. Yeah, I was going to say, so party, Um, now that you guys know You've spotted the entrance. I don't know if you're alerting everyone as to. Uh, yeah, I'll start talking. Uh, right when, right when Carver starts talking, he's like, "I peed in his bag." I'll be like, "Hey, uh, I can't hear you guys, but uh, I found the entrance, and I I can't see if there's anything around, but I, I found it. I think this is where we're supposed to go in." I just reach up and pat him in the back. <laughs> Was that? Should I? What happened? I touch his butt. I, I, you touch his butt? Nah, I'm not touching it. You touch it. Touch the butt, guys. Why are we touching his butt? What? Apparently, he can still feel it. He so, just can't hear us. As we're getting closer, can't see or hear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume we're gonna fight something, right? Are, are, so is it the owl that is two thousand feet forward? Yes. Where, where are we at? Two thousand feet back. Or we've been no, you're not too. You, you guys are on the ridge, right? Yeah, you guys are at the top of the ridge, so you're probably okay. about like 200 feet away from the entrance right now. Um, I'll snap back. And yeah, come back into me. Okay, so now Felder is out. So Hootie is no longer in the picture at the moment. Uh, he's on my shoulder. Okay, so Hootie's back on his shoulder, and he's off my shoulder. Hootie, yes. get one of these. 
<laughs> don't know. Who do you don't? Okay, I'll keep it. Take that. that or wank. Don't take that. Real, real quick. What is the candy? Since I can't see it. It's uh. So the candy is um. A bag of assorted sweets that are all enchanted with magical properties. Every piece you eat, roll a D100, and then Mike will tell you what happens. Oh. Mm-hmm. So each of us have five. Hell yeah. Gotta share the wealth, baby. <laughs> Super nervous. Oh, that's a wild magic share. <laughs> that is. I'm very excited. Wolf. Um, okay. So are we going to move forward or... Hell yeah, brother. Or we'll start, like, like very cautiously... Trying to go down the ridge. What did the guy say that there were traps everywhere? Yeah, uh, inside the cave. Is that um, what he said? That is what he said. Is once he got inside, there was traps. Okay. <laughs> so once he got inside, okay. The drunk guy remembered. But this is <laughs> treacherous. Okay. So I'm gonna like very cautiously like stick my ass out. I'm gonna like very slowly and gingerly like look down, look up, look down, look up. Dude, it's a pathway. I just walked by. <laughs> <laughs> I just walked by him. <laughs> so while they walk by, I'm like, no, you have to. It's treacherous. <laughs> the floor is lava. I'm waiting. How? I'm waiting, Jack. How big is Jack? I'm like 5'6". They're both the same height. We're the same height. I just think he's smaller than I Like, am. just because you're saying that, this is funny. The path down to the entrance tunnel is steep and narrow, but not incredibly treacherous. <laughs> <laughs> it's treacherous. <laughs> it's fine. I'll, I'm going to be. You, you got it. Jack, I, I believe. Oh, shit. I, I walk by and I, I pick him up by the scruff of his shirt and just carry him down. Okay. <laughs> just drag. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. So as you all draw close, uh, about about how far out are we from the? I would the, say, as of right now, you guys are about to hit around the thirty, about the fifty feet mark from the entrance. Uh, when we get to thirty, I want to stop. And I'm gonna make a circle with holy water, and just kind of stand in that circle. Okay. <laughs> well, as you do that, you notice that coming out of the entryway is about six kobolds. Uh, the tallest one reaches out to you, or not reaches out, looks out at you, puffs his chest out, and starts shouting, "No, go away! Don't come here or die!" I'm gonna. Uncork my wine bottle. I'm gonna. I'm gonna drop down a bunch of iron and cast magic circle, and uh, yeah. And with that, let's roll for our first initiative. First initiative. There's not a map for this part, so um, yeah. Yeah, natural one. Theater of the mind. Natural one with a so uh, seven. Natural twenty. Sixteen. <laughs> Oh, dude, I also got 16. Okay, so Whoa. you have 22 for Trev. <laughs> okay, 22 for Trev. Um, 16. 16. What's your, what are dex, dex scores for you guys? What's your dex, dex Josh? Uh, three. Plus Four. three. Okay, so then Jack. Carver. Uh, Kobolds. And, oh, all right. Elder, all right. So you guys are currently, um, like I said, you guys are about 30 feet away from them as of right now. Um, so, uh, Trev, 30 feet. you're you're up. What are we doing? Um, when he says, go away or die, I'm like, no! And I just start running uh, towards them. Okay. And uh, as I run, I'm like, ah! Uh, I take out the great sword. I'm not raging. I'm just going right in. Okay. And I am going to... Eh, I, no. We'll see what happens. I'm going to swing at the closest one with a greatsword. Go ahead and roll an attack. That is a natural 19. That's going to hit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is... God, it's been so long. Greatsword. Oh, wait, that's equipment. Sorry. New character, who dis? Old character, who dis? All right. 12. 13. You literally six. slice him in half. <laughs> and then I'm about to go after the second one. Can I? No, I, I have to hold a full action, right? I can't hold the second attack. You can't hold the second okay, attack. Okay, then I'm just going to swing the second attack to the closest one. Cool. Oof, not as good. Uh, so 14. That'll hit. <laughs> They're Ooh, cold. Right. Nine. And that one you just behead. <laughs> like, 
and then I just like look at the rest of them and be like, oh. And just then the one who him. was did you did you say you attached the one attack the one that shouted at you first? The, whoever was the closest. If he was the closest, okay, then so, yes. Yeah, so he would have been the closest, so they just kinda look at you like eh, 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 and then they just kind of ready their slings. Um so that means Jack, you're up. Uh, I'm gonna have the wine bottle up. <clears throat> Are you still carrying me by the scruff there, Carver? Uh no, I would have put you down. Okay. So I'm gonna drop uh stand up my glasses and my coat and put my hair up as I start charging and uh, whomever is the closest I'm gonna punch okay okay uh, let me see here so, and what's your and your movement is like what 45 feet 55 oh okay you're fine oh. <laughs> Monk. mother of God mobile so yeah, yeah, yeah. Mobile so it just while I'm drinking it's just all red wine and like rice wine that's just going on my coat and I'm just all in my beard uh, first one is going to be a 18 to hit. That'll, that'll do it. That'll hit. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, just roll my second attack anyway. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to attack the same guy with uh, kind of a spinning kick, and that's a modded 20. That'll hit. Yep. Okay, so it's... Uh, 16. For both? 16 altogether. Okay, what was the first attack? So the first attack was, um, I want to say it was nine. That would be enough to kill it on its own if you want to attack. Okay, so I'm just going to... Okay. And then I'm going to move to the other one, and I'm going to do the other... Uh, Spinning back kick? Yeah, the seven. And it's in that seven. Literally kill them both. So now there's only two kobolds remaining. Mm -hmm. Um, And Mm, is that... Standing like this. Is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Carver, you're around me, right? Uh, how, How far away... Are we from them? You're still about thirty feet right now because they, the Trev and Jack, both ran forward. Okay, uh, then I'll use my thirty feet of movement to go up to the closest Cobalt. Okay. And grapple him. Grapple? Okay. Yep. So that means uh, go ahead and make a strength check for me. Uh, Twenty-one. Yeah. No, you <laughs> grapple it. <laughs> you grapple it real good. And uh, then I just. I just, Indraconic, uh, I don't know what I want to say to the other one. <laughs> Never mind, I take it back. I just snarl. <laughs> I pull a Trev. Okay. Um, then <clears throat> with that being said, you have one of them grappled. There is one that remains, and it is the Kobold's turn. So that one that remains is literally just going to go, ah! and he is sprinting back into the tunnel. Is he next to me? You're not close Damn. to him. He's, he's about 10 feet away from you right now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be firebolt him. <laughs> he's in the tunnel already. It's so 120 so, feet. I mean, you can't range. see him because it's dark in the I'll tunnel. I'll roll it at disadvantage. Okay. Okay. Roll it at disadvantage. Yeah. Oh! oh. <laughs> Natural one. Hey. Oh. Hey. You go ahead and light up. Oh, the- wait. That was a seven. I you, think it was a seven. You know, light, they're right next to each other. You light up the inside of the tunnel, but you don't see anything. I mean, it would have been a fifteen if it was a seven, but I, I don't. I'll say one, but because I, I, they're right next to each other, and I thought it was a one, but it looked like one from seven. here. They're literally like, yeah. Anyways, regardless, <clears throat> yeah, say so it's a one. Okay. Yep. Damn it. So then that means you're still grappling the one that didn't run away. And yes. Felder, is that your turn? Uh, yeah. I'm going to stay in my, my magic circle, though. Okay, well, then that means we are top of the order. Uh, Trev, what's the plan? Um, Just because this guy's still trying to... I would hold. Actually, no, hold. Uh, before we do that, just cause... Um, I'm going to retcon this a little bit, just because I'm still new at this whole DM DMing thing, guys. Sorry. Um, the kobold is still going to try and make a strength contest yeah. with uh, the, the paladin. <laughs> so uh, right, go ahead boy. and uh, right, roll a strength check. Strength save? Strength, uh, no, strength check. Strength check, okay. Yes. No, you have to roll one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 19? I rolled a natural 20. (laughs) So he breaks. (laughs) Uh, he, he breaks and he's going to try and bolt. So. Is he also, he's not close to us at all either? Um, no, he's, because I would say that he's probably about five feet away from you, like five feet away from you guys, so he'd be about ten feet, technically. Um, That's so far from me. 
Oh, I'm going after him. If it's my turn next, I'm going after him. Yeah, because he all, he basically did that, used half his movement, so he's at the entryway to the top. Uh, can I use my I get, can I use my warcaster ability to use a reaction to make an opportunity attack? Um, yeah. you you're far enough away from him that you wouldn't have gotten an opportunity attack on that. Isn't that, that correct? Would, would uh, I? Correct. I mean, if a spell, I mean, I'll, I'll defer to Justin on this because I don't know for certain. Uh, yeah, because uh, I thought an opportunity attack would have been him being within your range. What does it say on your uh, your screen for reaction? Does it tell you? It's up there somewhere. It is up here. I'm looking online. Would I get an opportunity attack since he left my like area? Yeah, you definitely would. Uh, there's not anything on here about that. And since it's Warcaster, that's kind of a little bit of a different thing. Um, I've figured since he wasn't in combat with I mean, you, you wouldn't get an opportunity. Role, yeah, it's up to you. You're the DM. Yeah, because the way that I look at an opportunity attack, it's someone that's leaving within your range. That's fair. Right. So, yeah. It's not... The, the thing isn't an opportunity attack. It's a reaction. It's using my reaction to something that happens. Okay. But, I mean, it's whatever you want. Well, that's the thing. You said react, using my reaction to make an opportunity attack. So that's where my verb went off of. Um, but, yeah, so it, if you... I mean, you technically did already cast... Uh, that was on your turn. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you can go ahead and do that if you want. Uh, Wait, what, what order does it go in now? Because you said you retconned that he did the strength check. Yeah. Correct. Um, so it retcons as to who wants to make their reaction first. Okay. So I'm going to read it verbatim. It says, when a hostile creature move uh, movement provokes an opportunity attack from you, you can use your reaction to cast a spell from the creature. Okay. Since it's not considered, it's not provoking an opportunity attack from you. What is provoking one from him say? because he left uh, Carver's fear of influence? <clears throat> uh, fear, uh, Warcaster says... Uh, da, 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 da. You can use your reaction to make an opportunity attack to cast a spell that has a casting time of one action and targets only that creature. Yeah, it's, it's up to you. Yeah, so that's. Um, I mean, if you're going to attack, then I don't, I'm not going to do it. What's that mean? Yes. Okay. I, I, I never know where you're, like, when you're looking where I'm sitting. Am, am I next to Carlos? You yes. are next to Carlos. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. That helps. That's why I keep looking at my left. Yeah. <laughs> you're right next to me. Hey. I think we're gonna try and TV it. I think I'm gonna try and get a TV, like a small one, and put like on the back wall or Hell something. Oh yeah. Like, let's put it there. That way we're looking I mean, we want to look at him. Though. Other people can still see him. Yeah. Oh, true. Well, so I get my opportunity attack, right? Yeah. Yes. So go ahead and roll an attack. So, does it have to be an attack, or can I try and trip him? Uh, I, I mean, you can try and trip him if you want to. Okay. Like, what? What would that be? Is that is that unarmed strike at the legs? Sure. Okay. Just take a leg off. <laughs> we don't need that. ultimate trip. <laughs> uh, twenty six. Yeah, that's gonna hit. So, Wolf. what's your unarmed strike damage? Uh, five. Yeah, so he hits his head on a rock <laughs> and is unconscious. They have fallen. Oh, good. Oh. Well, ugh, looks like we have a guide through the dungeon now, or through the cave. Do you want to tie him up? Yeah. Anyone have rope? I'm gonna hit uh, a I message. Don't. I'm gonna message Carver. Um, uh, don't forget, kobolds typically work in in a in a pack. And if six kobolds did this to all of those soldiers, they're not very good soldiers. So there's probably more, and you're at the mouth of the cave. Yeah, but they're just piss ants. You can just flick them off. I, I can I can respond right. Yeah, you can oh, respond. Sorry, it's, a, it's message. That's right. All right. Yeah, good point. So I, I grab the cobalt and I start walking back toward the rest of the group. I tie him up. I, I, I have any words for while, the while you're doing that. You notice that he is lifeless. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, he's dead. Yeah. He's very. <sighs> he's pretty limp. Oh well. I loot the body. <laughs> you find one copper piece. Hell yeah. What about the others? Two copper pieces between the six of them. <laughs> They're rich. <laughs> Let me add my one copper to my money. Um, Do we want to keep going? 
Yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay. Yeah. So, if, if we can capture one, though, let's let's try and do that moving forward. Capture one. Got it. I can't hit him. I mean, I can run pretty fast. I can run faster than them. How is that? Very good. Yeah. You gonna catch one? Yeah, I mean, I can. Do you want me to? I I can run now. By yourself. I'm so confused. Let's just it's me every day. Let's just move forward. I'm at the back. Right. I'm uh, I'm leading with my shield out. I'm oh. gonna stand next to Felder. Okay. I'll, be, I'll be right behind Carver. Felder, I'm making sure. Carver. Felder. Okay, so uh, the path is going to um, descends steeply into the darkness of the crater. Uh, the smell of musty, dry passageways fills the air, and torches flicker with weak light. Straight ahead, um, straight ahead, a circle of light marks the end of the tunnel. So it's very, very dim in here, uh, but you can see due to the small amounts of light that are coming off of these torches on the walls. I'll cast dancing lights as well. Okay, that'll definitely increase your visibility. Um, so the tunnel is basically a perfectly, uh, perfectly straight. And around 80 feet long. Um, what are we doing as we enter? Uh, I'm going to be looking constantly for, like, cover. Uh, this is a natural, like, crevice cave area. I just always want to be looking for somewhere to, like, I can duck behind or hide behind or be at any portion and point of cover. Okay. Cool. Um I'm going to watch him do that, but I'm also going to take note of each torch that's on the wall. Okay. Uh, and, you know, think about how far apart they are, if they're continuously going, okay. like if there's a torch on every wall, that kind of thing. Gotcha. Okay. They're, they're, they're just placed pretty sporadically, but not enough, uh, enough so that way you're, uh, the light that you can see throughout the tunnel is fairly consistent. Okay. As we're walking, I'm just looking around for traps. Like, okay. So I'll like even take the sword every once in a while. I'm just gonna like scrape the ground to see if in I see. In front of you, so you're yeah. leading the way. No, I'm, well, I'm behind Carver, but like off to the sides and stuff. Okay, like, so I'll say that you guys are joint leading the way then. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm. Then, uh, I I I'm being very cautious. I'm looking for anything that might move suddenly. Just my focus is keeping the three of them safe. Okay. Well, in that case, then Trev. And Carver, uh, make perception checks for me. Okay. Uh, perception, twenty-four. Eight. Okay. Um. <laughs> now, with that being said, since uh, Trev, you said you were specifically looking for traps, and Carver, you were specifically looking for anything that moves. Um. With that being said, um. Trying to figure out who is technically leading the way. Trev, no Carver. 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 Okay. Yeah. Um, in that case, there. I'm gonna need you to make a dexterity save for me. Okay. Damn it! I think that I did. Girl. I danger sense. He's got a plus three. He's good. Oh well, it's something I can't see. So I guess. Uh, fourteen. What kind of armor does he have? It's fair. Plus three on saves. Wait, do I have another plus three? That's all. No. no. Okay. Uh, what what armor do you have too? Because if you're in plate or any kind of plate, it's a disadvantage. I thought that was only stealth. No, I think and dexterity saves is also. Roof, you had uh, to make dex disadvantage. Uh, okay. I'm in chainmail. Oh, you should be fine. Yeah, he's yeah. fine. It says it's only stealth on here. Yeah, thought thought doesn't make him a disadvantage. He's in full plate. It's only stuff. Okay. Um, well, in that case, uh, basically what happened is you set off a tripwire um, yeah. and uh, just had a bunch of rocks fall down on top of your head. Uh, mm -hmm. Since you did succeed on the save, uh, you take four points of bludgeoning damage. Please trip a wire. Trip a trap. You tripped a trap. Yes. He, so you did so good. No, he needs to be like more observant because this is like a treacherous place. You should be really careful about it. Look, I'm looking for things that move, okay? What are you looking for? I'm looking at all the sconces to make sure we have light. Well, no, I, we won't have light because we won't be able to see. I don't have dark vision. I cast light. I did dancing lights. None of us do. 
fine. No, I mean, that's fair. I'm just trying to make sure that, like, we're being, like, cautious and we're making sure everything's going on. And then I have my third wine model. <laughs> I just want to make sure we're safe. All right. Oh. Okay, well then, uh, now that we've got past the um, initial shock of that trap, you guys still have probably about another 50 mm-hmm. feet of tunnel until you get to the bright light at the end of it. So, Is the bright light where the paper is? Huh? Is the bright light where the paper is? What on paper? The map, on the map. Oh, yes. So okay. you that that's what's covered. You haven't made it to the end of that yet. Okay. Hey, Felder. Y- yes? Can Booby look ahead? <laughs> His name is Hootie. Yeah, it's Hootie, dude. Uh, I thought Jack said it was Booby. No, Jack likes it because it sounds like Booby. Yeah, it's it rhymes, and that's why Booby. I find it funny. Booby. Yeah, like Hootie, Booby. Go- I want to be with I'm you. Gonna, I'm going to message... Um, Carver, off to the side. I'm gonna try and do this stealthily. I'm gonna be like, roll a stealth check. Do we notice this? <laughs> You're definitely gonna notice. I'm rolling terribly so far today. Oh, same. Oh, nah, it's, it's cock. It's cock. Go ahead. It's cock dish. Okay. Uh, thirteen. Uh, what's everyone's passive perception? Oh, twelve. Oh hell. You don't see it. Twelve. Cool. All right. He's fine. So I'm like, Carver. Uh, Jack is talking. More and more normal. He's fucked up right now. And then I'll just keep walking forward. <clears throat> uh, and I'll do, I'll put my arm on Jack's shoulder, which he would know means I'm going into Hootie and going to ru- run him forward and see if he can see anything. I got your baby bird. Perception wise. Okay, go ahead and make a perception check. Come on, baby bird. It's my baby bird. Jesus, what is with me and rolling 12s today? Uh, 15. Don't lose something. Ooh, cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna have my hand on his shoulder. Is he still blind man bluffing it? Yeah, I'm still, I'm okay. still in hootie. Yeah, he's still in hootie right now, which is also hilarious. <laughs> okay, so then uh, anything else you guys are doing as you proceed forward? He's looking through hootie right now. Um, if anyone else is looking for anything, I'm gonna also while I'm like holding on, I'll be like, if anything happens, please tap my hand two times, please. I'm gonna give him a little tickle under the ear. Okay. What was that? Is that a snake? I, never mind. I can't hear you anyway. And I'll just keep walking. Uh, he's a good kid. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> anything else? Uh, just I'm going to still keep a note on the sconces of how many torches there are, where they're located, how accessible they are. Uh, and then I'm going to tie my, my gi around my belt. So okay. that way it's just kind of like Bruce Lee shirtless. Okay. I'm ready to fucking go whenever I'm, I need to go. Cool deal. Okay. Yeah. I'm. Uh, I'm now looking for traps as well. He got it, it. Having gotten hit in the head. So any any sort of like gleam or something that looks out of place. Okay. Go ahead and uh, roll. Uh, roll another perception check for me. Would I be able to help him? Yeah. Him? I'll allow you to go ahead and offer assistance, so you can roll that at advantage, Carver. Sweet. <laughs> because that first one was a one. Ooh. Uh, perception nineteen. Uh, oh yeah, good stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, so you notice that about ten feet ahead of you, uh, you notice that the ground it looks like it's kind of covered in twigs, um, looking like it's trying to conceal something, um, but it is something that you can avoid by walking around. Okay. Uh, go. Go ahead. Oh, do we want to purposely trip it to get it out of the way? Uh, it's. I will say that with your 19, it doesn't look like it's well put together because this is a dark room and he's got his dancing lights up. Um, if you probably threw something relatively lightweight on it, you might be able to see if it can hold up. Uh, is it so? It's it's like dirt, like full dirt ground with then the twigs and everything on top. Yeah, that looks kind of out of place. Okay, I'm gonna grab one of the the sconces or the the light on the side, uh-huh. and then just light it on fire. Okay, um, it's pretty dry, so it definitely catches fire. Um, and as it starts to catch fire, you notice that the twigs start to fall in, 
Um, and there is a spike pit underneath it. Team Rocket Trap. Sorry that you rolled with Hootie the check on it was a 16. <laughs> well, okay. let's walk around this. Yeah, I'm going to lead Felder around it very carefully. Okay. <clears throat> Hootie's still going ahead. He's still going. Okay, so with with that being said, though, you guys are now getting close to the entrance. Never mind, I'm not Hootie anymore. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've never been Hootie. These are the two in the lead, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah, correct. Um, so, with that being <gasps> said, Hootie's back on the shoulder. Dude, you did so good. Did you get these from CBS? No, I made this myself. You made the lines by yourself? Yeah. You motherfucker. Yeah, I'm dude, sorry. I went fucking in on this shit. Go to Walmart. <laughs> yeah, the grids. The grids at, um, uh, if I wanted to get a booklet of the grid paper from, like, like Office Max, it was, like, $35. Just, they have, like, grid on Walmart, like, for, like, a buck. I hate the Walmarts here. Yeah, but they look great. <laughs> They look fantastic. Josh, great, sweetie. Um, so yeah, you guys will get that to see uh, in more detail soon. So you guys have currently uh, walked into what is called uh, the welcoming chamber. Uh, you emerge from the small bad. tunnel <clears throat> into a wide, high ceilinged chamber, seemingly carved out of the mud and stone. A ramshackle wooden tower made from broken planks and fallen branches. Stands in the center with a flimsy rope bridge connecting it to a ledge high up on the rear wall. To the left and right of the tower are two small walls only a few feet high. Behind each of them is a passageway, though the one on the right is blocked by a mound of fallen rocks. As you take in the view, you catch an odd smell and realize that the ground around you is covered in a thin layer of oily greenish liquid. Suddenly, a chittering fills the air and a row of small draconic heads peek over the crude ramparts. Um, so two things are going to have to happen right now. I'm going to need you to go ahead and roll a dexterity saving throw and then roll for initiative. Is this something gonna... that I can see? Ooh. An effect that I can see? Um, <laughs> I, I did just Glad describe the ground. Nice. So yes, you can see. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Um, where is Hootie in this? Uh, He's on my shoulder. He's on your shoulder. Yeah, I, if, because we're out of the cave, I took him back. If I may, whenever you use Hootie on like a battle map, can you use like a D6 sure. so we can figure where he's at? Yeah. I mean, he can't attack anything. I have an owl at home. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, you said duck save? I just forgot I had a familiar yes. until Hell yeah. we started. 18. Cool. Natural 20. Cool. And then initiative, I'm at 19. Oh, initiative. I'm going to pee real quick while you said that. That, that one's head didn't last. <laughs> That's okay. My initiative's an eight. Oh, so oh, not- initiative. my initiative's a plus six. Oh. I'm just rolling very poorly for initiative. Give me a color blue. I got nine for the deck save and four for initiative. I'm, I'm before you? Yeah. Uh, what kind of breath do you have? Because you're gold. Dragon fire. 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 Nice. Gold is fire. Okay. So, um, what would you like first? What was everybody's deck saves? Natural 20. Natural 20? It eight. was like an 18 or something. Okay. Ridiculous. It was an 18, Trev? 18. 18? Okay. So, uh, Carver, you have fallen prone because um, you failed the deck save. Death um, save? Yeah, you failed, you failed the deck save, oh, so you dex. are currently okay. prone. Yeah. Um, let me go ahead. And, and you're dead. I'm dead. Let me go ahead and I'm roll so dead. Down this real quick. That was short lived. That one was. Okay, and. So many cobalts. Yeah. Initiative is decided based on your decks, right? Correct. Yes. Okay. That is the tiebreaker. Okay. Um, well, that's also the bonus that you the add. bonus that you get as well. Okay, so <laughs> what was your um, so on the initiative rolls twenty five to twenty? Uh, no, nope. Uh, okay, twenty to uh, twenty to fifteen. I was nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, I was eighteen. Okay, uh, so that means we got Jack. True. Get hit at all. Um, just fall. He fell. Mm-hmm. I rolled that twenty. Uh, Carver. Got it. Okay, um, and then. Eight. I was going to say, yeah, 15 to 10, no one? Oh, no. Then him. Eight. Eight. And then Josh is up. Six. Four. 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 
Nice. Hell yeah, dog. Wow, it's what you roll. A four. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, plus zero. Yeah. <laughs> Paladins and clerics, man. Normally that always happens. Dex is a dump stat. Yeah. They use that charisma, baby. Uh -huh. What's, What's your charisma, Josh? Uh, 16. Damn, girl. Mine's charismatic. That's Mine's why eight. you the leader. Eight. Uh -huh. Eight. Eight. <laughs> so, uh, initiative has been rolled. Uh, Carver, you have fallen prone. Um, we are going to go ahead and start. Jack, you're up. What are we doing? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, I'm going to... I'm I'm gonna fuck some shit up. So I gotta let you know because you currently are on this oily substance. It is rough terrain. Is it? So uh, based on the way that it is at this time, if you want to try and move through it at regular speed, you will have to make a dexterity save. Otherwise, you will be at half speed while you're trying to get through. Uh, what about if I'm mobile? It uh, does. It's difficult terrain. Doesn't cost any kind of extra movement while I move. You're good. Oh hell yeah, yeah, mobile. And that mobile I'm, feet. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a swig from my my wine and I'm gonna try to put it to the side. Maybe it's like half full or like there's a fourth left. Uh, and okay, so these guys are behind a, a wall. These guys they're behind a very small stone wall, and then those ones are up on top of a tower. Top of a tower. How tall is the tower? About twenty feet tall. Okay. Um, let me see here. Right. 40, 45. Mm. Maybe I'll go around. Sorry. Okay. So I'm going to use my speed and I'm going to move behind this gentleman here. Okay. Go 55 feet or 50 feet. I still have five feet of movement and I'm just going to unleash on this guy. Okay. Punch him right in the head. Go ahead and roll him, Zach. Uh, that is a. Hold on. 16? That'll hit. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hit him with my fist. What if I fist cups? That's fine. Uh, that is a... Uh, 10? Oh, yeah. No, he's not So my fist goes... Again. You literally have particulate of a kobold brain on your fist. Okay, so I'm going to use my movement. Move 5. And I'm going to move on to the next gentleman. And then I'm going to hit him with my second attack. I'll move them over here. Thank you. Kind of like a drunk cobra, I'm going to be moving like side to side before I strike. Uh, that's a natural 19. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> These are the dice you got me for Christmas. Are they really? Yeah. They're cute. Uh, and then that is six points of damage as I hit. And he's dead? He's gone, yeah. Oh, okay. Lord. So he's dead Dude, as well. These guys have five hit points. Okay, like. great. <laughs> so I'm just going to, like, put my hand out, and I'm just going to kind of sway a little bit as I wait for the next guy to come up. Cool. Sounds good to me. That's so that turn. does it uh, That does it for your turn. That means Trev, you are up. Okay. Uh, Trev is full of dumb decisions. Oh. That's what he is. That's true. Um, that is also true. You said full movement, I have to make another deck save? Uh, yes, you will have to make a, a deck save if you're going to try and use full movement. That's fine. I'll try. Should I do the deck save first? Yes. Okay, so I'll, I'm going to try to move uh, full movement. That's a natural 19. Oh, yeah. 21. You succeed. Okay. Five, 10, 25, 30. The tower itself. What does it look like? Is it just like four posts in the ground that's holding it up? Like, is it a full wall? Is it ghetto? That's what you're like. Asking. Yeah. Like, is it like, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, you is can. It, is it like this? It, it's it's wooden. You can swing on it. I'm gonna swing at the leg. Swing at the leg of the tower. Okay. Yeah, I want to try to make that thing collapse. Go ahead and roll an attack. Okay. Um. No, I'm not gonna reach. That is a nineteen. That'll hit. And uh, damage? Yeah, roll damage. That is a 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, sorry. 13 damage on that post. Okay. Um, uh, you definitely hear the kobolds go, eh! and it, it looks like it's kind of like wavering a little bit. I'm hacking at it again. Hacking at it again? Okay. Yeah. 20. That'll hit. That, that's even more. Uh, 10, 14 damage. 14 damage. <laughs> On this leg. Okay, um, so 14 damage. Uh, 
that leg actually you cut through it. Um, so <laughs> it's definitely wobbly, but the other three legs are still supporting it. That's fine. Um, yeah. Do I have any bonus actions as Trev, except from raging? You're a barbarian, dude. You can rage. That's it. <laughs> no, uh, fine. Uh, I'm not going to rage yet. Okay, so uh, we are at the first kobold round now, um, and it is actually the kobolds that are on top of the tower. Oh. Um, those ones are a little bit different than the other guys, because those ones are holding pots of alchemist's fire. Um, oh, um, so the first one is going to go Trev. ahead and try and drop it on Trev. Um, so, Trev, go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw. Fair enough. Can he see it? <laughs> 19. Okay, you succeed. Um, so, you're going to take two points of fire damage. Okay. Um, and the other one is going to try and throw his pot onto the oil. Um, oh, it's so far. The end of the oils. It's like 20 it's feet 30 away. Feet. Yeah, 30 feet. He's got it. He's in range. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and try and throw it at the oil, and that's enough. Um, so you both, uh, Carver, actually, Carver, you're prone, so you're going to be at disadvantage on your deck save, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Um, so you're at disadvantage on your deck save, and then I'll need you to make a deck save as well, Felder. Uh, natural 19, mod 20. <laughs> Come on, Carver. I like 16. Okay, well, that was with disadvantage? Yep. Damn. All I'm right. out. God dang. Uh, so you guys are go- both going to take three points of fire damage, uh, but the area that you are in has now ignited. So you will have to take, you will have to make that save at the beginning of your turn. I am resistant um, to fire damage. Is that half? So yeah, yes. you're going to take half half of the three. Oh, dragonborn. I have a um, a question. So that green space is the oil. Correct space. Okay. Yep. That's all I need. Mm-hmm. Got it. Got in there. Okay. Uh, with that being said. Felder, you are up, so uh, since it's your turn, you can go ahead and make your dexterity save. Do you have a buttermilla? No, natural one. <laughs> natural one. Uh, you take five points of fire damage. Um, and now you can go ahead and go on with your day. Uh, I'm going to get out of the fire. Okay. Very <laughs> moving. Good call. <laughs> natural 19. Yeah, to... so you can use your regular movement. Cool. Um, is there anywhere? Is there anywhere that there's like cover? Anywhere I can like hide behind a stone or a rock? Or... In this room, let me go ahead and just double check the map here. Um, there is not actually no. So where do you? No doubt, no doubt. This room does not have a lot of cover. Gonna move like up here. Uh, I'm gonna move side? to this side, but towards the back. I'm gonna come this way as far as I can. Five, ten. I have thirty feet. About thirty, so about here. So I'm gonna go here. And do I see the two kobolds up top? Yeah, you can see them. Oh, sweet. Uh, then I'm going to cast Magic Missile at second level, okay. which means I can target two creatures. One more dart. Oh, no, I can cast more darts. Yeah, so, so you have four darts instead of three? Oh, I'm only going to... Then I'm only going to cast it at first level, because I'll have three darts, and that should hopefully be enough. And I'm going to send two uh, two at the one on the left okay. and one at the one on the right. Okay. Um, Magic Missile automatically hits. It's 1d4, right? It is 1d4 plus one. That's a four okay. plus one is five. So that one's dead. Okay. And then I guess I'll send the other two to the other one then. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and roll. Oh. That's a yeah, two plus one that. is three. And a four plus one, which is five. Uh, and bonus action cry because I'm on fire. They were mine. You're just toasted, okay? You're, You're basically better. like a sandwich from Quiznos. Ooh. Um, Ooh. Carver, it is your actually no, just kidding. Um, uh, the ones on the left, it is their turn. Uh, so they are actually all going to turn, uh, and go towards the drunken monk. Do it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm gonna sway like. Okay, and they have pack tactics, so they will all be attacking with advantage uh, with their dagger. Uh, so natural nineteen, mm-hmm. uh, natural twenty, okay, and a uh, ten. Ten. I'm gonna use a key point for the ten. So roll your damage for uh, the first two that hit me, and then we'll go to the ten one. Okay. Okay. 
Um, so let's see. So you crack actually, one. sorry, the one that the, the ten was actually a fourteen. Fourteen doesn't hit. Fourteen doesn't hit. No, nope, but I'm going to still go. Still with use what the key I'm point. Yeah. Okay. Um, so then the first one is going to be um, four plus two, so six points of piercing damage on the first attack. Okay. Then the one that was a crit is seven points of piercing okay. damage. And then the one that misses, uh, you can go ahead and use your key point. What are we so doing? So I'm going to use a key point and use my uh, my ability of tipsy sway. So as the dagger comes towards me, as the other two hit me, I'm going to move my stomach and move it to the other one that's maybe adjacent to them. Uh-huh. And that attack is going to attack their friend. Okay. So now it hits that one instead? Yes. Does he re-roll or does it hit? No. It just hits? Ooh. It hits. It uh, says... Uh, Whenever a creature misses you with a melee attack, you can spend one key point as a reaction and cause the attack to hit one creature of your choice, other than the attacker. I'm built for <laughs> I'm built for when people are ganging up on me. As you can see, based on that one's build, he took his head off. Uh, so I'm like, he, he was going for your belly and completely. So I'm doing like neck. a kung fu hustle, like when the, the dagger comes to me, my stomach kind of moves forward and then pushes towards the other person and like I have my arms around the other two, like I'm like buds with them. Gotcha. Okay. Um, well, with that being said, Carver, it's your turn, so you're still prone. So um, I'll need you to go ahead and make a dexterity save, and that will be at disadvantage again. Oh, uh, nine, seven, seven. Okay, that is five points of fire damage. So that's going to be half to three, okay. half to two. <laughs> Two, because we round up. Um, That's right. We round up. Can, I also, can I also say like, yell something to the group? <clears throat> um, I mean, yeah, I'll allow it. Um, guys, I I think I can handle the other five of them. Just get out of that area. Uh, I... That's you, Trev, and yeah, that's Robert. a Trev question. Be, be careful. Like, just stay out of the way. Got it. Okay. So you can now use half of your movement to get up. Okay, so let me do that. And I'll be generous in giving you your placement there. Thank you. So you can make another dexterity save if you want to go ahead and use your full movement. Uh, What's your movement overall? 30. 30, so you have 15 feet of movement left. Um, I'll give you, I'll be generous and give you 10 feet if you don't want to go ahead and use all of it. So you'll be able to get out without having to... Is that, is that enough? Um, uh, Felder, is is that enough? Where, where? Like if, if, I move, ten, if I move oh, 10 sorry. feet? If he gets to like right here, would he still be out of range of what you're trying to do? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me do that. Okay. So I'll let you do that. And... Now, unless you have anything you want to do from range? Uh, I feel like I should. But I, I can't. I'm so used to being a you know, trick monkey. <laughs> Welcome to being a paladin. <laughs> so I guess I'll just, uh, I guess I'll just ready, ready with my shield and, and hammer up. Cool. Okay. Um, then that means we are at these guys' turns. So um, three of them see what you're trying to do to the tower, Trev. So they're going to attack you, uh, but they're at range right now, so they're not going to use their dagger. Instead. Uh, they're going to go ahead and use their sling. Um, and then let's see the other three. They're just barely within range. Um, so actually, I'll have three of them go after Trev, and then the other two go after Carver. Um, so let's see. Uh, Trev does a 16 hit. Yes. Uh, does a 13 hit. No. And no. does a 12 hit. No. Okay. So then you take... Uh, three points of bludgeoning damage. Owie. And then Carver, let's get up to you now. Uh, does a does a natural one hit? <laughs> yes. <laughs> a, a, a natural one hits. Okay, cool. Um, and then a natural nineteen. So that's a twenty-one. Does a twenty-one hit? Carver. Carver. Oh me. Uh yeah. Uh, yeah. Twenty-one hits. Twenty-one hits. Okay, you are going to take four points of bludgeoning damage. Um, and the other one, um, he uh, ripped his sling, so <laughs> he can't use it anymore. He's struggling pretty bad. So, so I had my shield up. Does that help me at all? 
Um, was, your shield ready. is part of your AC. Mm-hmm. It adds two to your. AC. It adds two to your AC, so that's why your AC is eighteen, and you're not encumbered by having difficulty on dexterity saves. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so what what is readying then? Like ready as it. an action. I think it's like readying an attack, like an attack, like if someone was to come within your melee range. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you could if you had wanted to, you could have taken the dodge action. <clears throat> um. And you would have been able to try and dodge an attack, uh, but yeah. Okay, so ready is for attacking, dodge is for that. Yes, makes sense. correct. Okay. Cool. So you said four. Uh, yes, four points. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so that means we are at the top of the order. Um, what are we trying to do there, uh, Jack? Uh, I'm gonna punch the other two kobolds that I have my arms kind of like over, like we're buds. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, I touched the top of your head. So I'm kind of like this, and then I'm going to try to uh, kind of knee one of them, and then I'm going to try to put my fist through the other one. Go for it. Okay. So first one is going to be a... Ooh, uh, that is a 13. Barely hits. Ooh, it still hits, though? It still hits. Oh, hell yeah. Um, so that's a five. Five points of damage. Yeah, he's gone. So I'm going to hit one, and then I'm going to move to the other, uh, kind of put my fist through that soft palate in his mouth. That is a 10. 10 is not going to hit. 10 is not going to hit. I'll take that. I'll, I'll wait for him to not. It's okay. I really wanted you to roll a one, and then it's just like you put your finger in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still do that. I'll be like... <laughs> All right. Um, is that the end of your turn? Um, I'm going to take my finger out of his mouth, and I'm going to boogie on out of there. And put it on your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> where, where are you going to move to? Uh, let me see where I can move to. Um, yeah, 55 feet of movement. So, What is this? That um, is on top of the tower. It's basically a little rope bridge How to big get is over it? that wall. Okay, so there's nothing under it? There's nothing under it. You can walk oh, underneath okay. it, correct. I mm. oh, just have to stay out of there. Oh, that's right. I did say that. Okay. Yeah, he did give that warning. So I was gonna say you would know that, but you're drunk, so maybe I'm actually a lot more sober. Than- <laughs> I'm a lot straighter laced when I'm drunk. I, I guess that's how that works. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no, drunk never played drunk monk before, so you're more level headed. I'm gonna dip. I'm gonna dip to here. Okay. Uh, and because I do your, have mobile. Because of your mobile feet, he does not get an attack of opportunity. So I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> so I take oh. my hand out of his mouth. I was going to say, honestly, if you want to be cool, you can jump over that wall uh, and just make a basic acrobatics check. Uh, uh, if you want to go how, ahead and How save, high is it, though? Like, four feet. Do I want to risk it for the biscuit? Yeah, no, I'll do. go... Yeah, you I do? do? You can do uh, it. For right. flair? For flair. That one. Don't say oh, that. Natural 15. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> I didn't add my acrobatics, which, which I is... Which is probably is... like a plus seven. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like... <laughs> And then, uh, so... And that's, that doesn't encumber your movement or anything easier, so I figured give you a little bit of, a little bit of extra taste. 40. So I'm going to go right next to Felder and be like, these guys aren't so tough. I mean, you can probably just, like, hit all of them. Yeah, that, I, I said that. I was... never. I'm sorry, yes. I wasn't listening. <laughs> and then I'm going to drink the rest of my wine. Okay, cool. So that means, Trev, it's your turn. How tall is this thing? Uh, about 20 feet. I want to go to this corner and <laughs> swing on that corner twice. Okay, yeah, go ahead and do it. Roll attacks. Natural 17. Okay, that'll hit. That's 13 damage. That is enough to go ahead and just take out that post. So now what's going to happen is the, the ramshackle parts on the top are now going to collapse. And I'll go ahead and say that it takes out this one. Yes, that's what I wanted. And I'm going to use the rest of my movement to go this way. Okay. <laughs> there. Cool. Um, so, yeah, that bridge that was up there is now down. Um, everything's kind of destroyed. Uh, good job, Trev. Um, so that's the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, Felder, you're up. Uh, I'm going to step right here. And I'm, I'm going to take out a little bit of sulfur and some batshit. I'm going to mush it in my hands. Oh, no. 
and I'm going to look at them and I'm going to go bang and let a fireball go uh, in between the two in the center and they're, they're dead. Yeah, so that's a dexterity save, right? Uh, it's 8d6. So It's a dexterity save, right? Yeah. Of course. I did roll a natural 20 on one of them. Correct. Yeah, no, they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> they're dead people. <laughs> they're that very, dragon. very, very dead. They people. dead people. Okay, uh, so yeah, they're all gone. Uh, there's one left that I left alive. There is one left, and he's going to use all of his movement uh, and his action to bolt. <laughs> Would Trev got an opportunity attack on that? Uh, no, I'm way too far away. Too uh, far. It has to be near me. Oh, it's that little honey hole. Got I'm going to go up to Felder. I'm going to go, that was a great job. Oh, I'm a murder machine. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you are. They deserved it. Okay. And I'm just going to pet Hootie and just... Hootie's proud of you. I'm going to pat you in the back and do kind of like a like Thor and Hulk and be like, the gates of hell are filled with your victim's blood. <laughs> oh. That was Okay, so uh, while we're in this room, guys, is there anything that you want to do? Uh, looking around. I'm going to do a look about. Okay. Um, go ahead and make an uh, investigation check. There's n- there, You don't feel like there's any um, sense of danger right now? Yeah. Uh, so I'll just take my time. Uh, oh. My passive investigation is an 18, so would I would I pick up on anything? Uh, it's This is kind of more so if, uh, if you're looking for a situation. Okay. Um, so passively, I would say you're not like actively looking. I mean, for I'll I'll walk around. I'll walk yeah. around with, since we're we're bros. Yeah. So if you guys are bros, you can make is an there, investigation check too. Oh, is your investigation higher than mine? Substantially. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can I just give him yeah. advantage? I'll on allow that. that. Okay. What did you roll? I rolled an eleven. Okay. My intelligence is. Amazing. Uh, that's a natural eighteen for a twenty-six. Cool. Okay. So one. <laughs> my intelligence. My intelligence isn't bad. No, I'm a negative I'm, one. I think I'm the second most intelligent. What's your intelligence, Carver? Twelve. Uh, mine's also twelve. We are the Eight. same. <laughs> We're the same. I'm a barbarian. No, I'm a barbarian. <laughs> I'm a paladin. No, I'm a barbarian. Bringing it back. Bringing it back. Um, okay, so cool. That's great. Um, with that being said, then you, as you're going around um, by investigating, say this blocked passageway over here. Um, you can see a glint of silvery metal underneath the dirt, um, which looks like it might be a gauntlet um, based on the information that you have heard uh, from uh, Fraynal. This is likely where Milgnar passed. Dude, so Milton's here. That's not his name. Uh, Trev, yeah. can you ha- help? Come here. Thank You're you. big and strong, and I'm very much none of those things. I come here. I'm also not strong. Yeah. What do you need? Move, move the rocks. Just push it out of the way. Yeah, that Milton is under here. Yeah, so Milton's he's under there. Oh, um, okay. go ahead and make an intelligence check for me, <laughs> and oh. I'll give you advantage um, because you're being instructed to do this by Felder. <laughs> Great, that's a natural one and a natural six for a five. Oh god. I have a negative one modifier. Okay, um, so yeah. Start fucking digging. Is anyone gonna help? <laughs> I don't think Kava. It's Yeah. Okay, and when I say he's buried, it's a lot of rocks. So it's something that will be time consuming, which is why I wanted you to make your intelligence check so that way you could figure that out. It's like is his hand sticking out? You just see a, a the part of a gauntlet. And it's not like you would just be able to tug on him and get him out because of how much debris is on top. Oh, I'd rip his hand off. <clears throat> Try, like, please. touching his hand. Does his hand, like, do anything? Like, is it responsive? Oh, he's dead. It's cold. Oh, he's Frank's very dead. Wait, was so that a thousand bad with of... names. I'm not that bad with names, Frank. I'm... Oh, I'm just... I'll, I'll help. I'll help take the rocks off. Knowing that we want to get the, the sigil, the amulet. Okay, um, well, that's something that if you guys decide that you're going to do that, um, it is going to take you a good amount of time if it's just the two of you doing it. Um, I, mean, I, I can help, I can, but I'm not... How, how long? Strong. Well, if it's going to take the two of you, if you guys, it's going to be the two of you guys that are doing it, it's probably going to take you about two hours to dig him out. Whoa. Oh. Well, we know where he is, um, we can get him on the way out. 
he's not going anywhere. Uh, and I'll I'll grab his hand and cast gentle repose. What does that do? Uh, gentle. It's it's more for flair than anything. But you touch a corpse or other remains for the duration the target is protected from decay and cannot become undead. Oh, okay. It, it stops. I think he, for like ten days. It's he ten stops days. Decomposing. Yeah, he stops decomposing and he can't be like a zombie. Uh, if I may, while they're doing that and figuring that out, I just kind of want to look at the perimeter. Okay. And see if there's anything else, sort of like. Uh, any kind of like odd happenstances? Jab the robot. Yeah, you know. Um, go ahead and make a perception check. My right, fifteen twenty is a check something too. Uh, yes, Carver. Uh, I wanted to see on a scale of uh, one to maximum health how everyone's feeling. <laughs> I'm a little banged up. I'm okay. Uh, um, you said investigation or perception? Perception. Uh, 21. This room is pretty barren. Um, you could tell that this was just kind of the room that if they got past the traps, they were going to get ambushed in here. Um, so there's really nothing that you can find in this room. Um, anything amongst the bodies that I can kind of like piece together or like anything I can do with them besides their weapons? Like, I'm yeah, not I mean, yeah, I was going to say pretty much the most that you could do is pick up a couple daggers. Um, if you want to investigate the bodies for any kind of loot, you can go. We can sure try. I'm not trying to loot. Um, yeah. I'm just trying to see if there's anything possibly mm. useful, and not like valuable. Um, if anyone needs like daggers or like uh, slings, slings like slingshots, <laughs> they got it. I don't take daggers. I'll take I'm a slingshot. Good. I'm not good at those things. Well, and I eat, and then I'm just gonna kind of like put them in a. Like, I'll put it here. Okay, so yeah, I mean, if you want to take a, a dagger like a or a sling, you can go ahead and add that to your inventory. And I'm good. That. Right. Let me use my fist. Um, what I know, based on all of the kobolds, like, what... Like, if there was if there was someone that they were working with or for, or what their, like, uh, alignment is or anything like that? Oh, their alignment is definitely lawful evil. Okay. Um, just because you do have a very good intelligence, I'll give you that. You know that they're evil beings. Mm -hmm. um, but based on this, you kind of can't really tell if they're working for anything in particular. Um, okay. That might be something that you'll, you know, will come with time the more that you encounter. Uh, but based on this first encounter, there's nothing that in indicates anything. So can we press on further and maybe take a short rest in a little a little bit? Or Seems like here might be the best place to do that. I mean, we don't really have the short rest. We can just keep going. Why do we have to, like, what if they, like, come up on us, you know? I'm not very concerned about them coming up on us. Okay. I Hi. mean... I kind of want to find out what happened, like what's going on in the cave. Well, one of the things that you guys can see is that based on the way that this room is laid out, you really only have one option of where to go. You can't get through this path right here because it's completely blocked. Uh, and you guys wouldn't be able to get up to where that rope bridge was uh, because of Trev destroyed the tower. If we take a short rest, I'm going to opt out of taking a short rest and I'm going to dig during that hour, so dig into like the body. I'm gonna try to uh, unearth as much of the body as possible while we take shed short rest. I'm just not gonna roll for hit points or anything. Like okay. I'm just gonna forfeit my you forfeit short the rest short rest to at least somewhat dig up said dead person. Okay, that's up to you guys. You would be able to make some progress. You will not be able to get them out. Correct. If, that's fine. If, if, progress if, if, if we're doing that, then I'll also help. Okay. I'll short rest. I'll short rest as well. Then. I'm going to okay. use arcane recovery. Okay. I've only taken five hit points. So that's I'm going like. to use a hit dice. Okay. I'm also going to do that. Um, then if that's the case, uh, if you guys are going to be taking a uh, short rest um, and you two are going to be digging, I need you guys both to make a constitution saving throw for me. Uh, 23. <laughs> Wait, all, all of us, right? No, just the two of you, because you guys are digging. Oh, okay, 16. Uh, okay, you guys are good. Uh, yeah. I'm also going to do eight lay on hands on myself. Okay. What'd you get? Your pool's 30, correct? Yep. Oh, God. All right, bro, is? easy. Josh, to answer your question from earlier, I'm, like, almost at full. Like, I didn't really take much damage. Okay, cool. 
It's uh, the roll in your con, right? Yeah. Correct. Sure, sure is. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Since I could. I'm my head up high. I'm going to put this here just for the hell of it. Not a lot. Yay. Okay. So with that being said then, um, you guys did did good there uh, because you did not want to fail that constitution saving throw. Oh, um, good. Was that exhaustion? It was a level of exhaustion, yeah. Yeah. For not taking a short rest? Because you, you were digging. Rest. You were digging through trying to pull this guy out of the rubble. So you guys were spending an hour straight digging. Wolf. Yeah. yeah. Remind me not to like say what <laughs> do anything. Good thing we're big people. strong people. I hate people. I hate dead people. All right. So wow. now we're going to keep going forward. Yeah. Racist. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Ooh, it's Ooh. double sided. Girl! <laughs> you boy done did all this. You spoil us. I wanted to try to do stuff that was neat. I like the Office Depot barcode. Me too. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, how do we get there? I was about to do, do that. It adds some flair. <laughs> okay. So as you guys go through uh, the one opening, um, as you make your way through the passage, it curves around to the left, and the scent of death, decay, and fresh blood fills the air. Ahead, it opens into a dimly lit chamber, maybe 30 feet across, with a crude mural of a great dragon etched into the wall. It's hard to take much notice of the decor, however, as you take in all, uh, take in all the dead kobolds. Maybe 20 of the creatures lie there. Some laying on stone slabs or wrapped in cloth, decorated with draconic sigils, while others still wear the leather scraps that they died in. While a handful of corpses are at least a few days old, most of the bodies show recent injuries. As you glance around, your eyes take in hewn limbs and shattered skulls. You hear a hiss from the shadows as a quartet of red-robed figures wielding small sticks emerge from the gloom. Um, so... Can I lean over to Felder and go, this room's kind of tacky, right? It's not my first choice for decoration, but right? everybody's got their own thing. I guess so. Do, uh, do we know what the dragon is? The mural? Oh, yeah. Um, first off, uh, before we get to that question, because I will get to that in a second, who is leading the way? Ooh. No, not it would us. Have probably either been myself or it would have been me. Yeah, he's our leader. He You're my leader. hero. I'm not smart enough to be a leader. I'm in the back. This is you in the back. Right? Yakety yak. Yeah, just make sure back. you're the small one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Okay. Um. Uh, since you asked, go ahead and make an intelligence check. Can I aid him in this? Because I also read books. Can I make one myself? You guys can both just make one. 17. Or sorry, it's not an intelligence check, a religion check. My apologies. Oh. Uh, oh still still 17. Still 17. Still 17? 17. Okay, so that you guys, as you walk in here, obviously you can definitely tell that this is a crude uh, mortuary. Uh, you can see that it looks like these are... Um, the area is kind of just like filled with... Um, Obviously, there's dead bodies scattered, some fresh, some not. Uh, but you could tell that this a, a lot of the death is due to what the Sable Spears had done. Uh, based on your religion check, you can uh, assert that the mural and the silger, sigils decorating the grave sheets honor Tiamat, the evil goddess of dragons. Yo, fight, motherfuckers, Carver. <laughs> Seeing that, game. I get very, uh, very angsty. Ooh, some would say Rufio esque. Ooh. I get Rufio esque. <laughs> Ooh, wee. It's just Ooh. Thing of Let me Daddy. destroy my Warhammer. Stop it. <laughs> Listen to these words. <laughs> no. Okay, so as you do that, the four figures wandering um, the darkness are starting to come closer to you. Uh, so, guys, guess what? It's time for you to roll another initiative. Another. Not through. Ooh, I did so good. I did not. 
should not have yeeted. You did you? Oh, did you, you yeet when you need not yeeting? I got sex. You yearded. Hey, get, hey, Justin. Guess what I got? What? Not six. Girl, go lower. I feel a little better. Oh. I got it too. <laughs> so got two. Okay, uh, twenty-five to twenty. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Um, what was your base roll? Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Um. Yeah, my initiative's nasty. No, that's that's fucking dope, dude. Um, with that being said, okay, twenty-two to twenty. Uh, or uh, twenty to twenty-five. Uh, fifteen to twenty. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, fifteen Oof. to ten. <laughs> um all right then well um that means we are moving on to um 10 to 5 7 6 gotcha okay. Josh pipe in whenever you want sure I sure will <laughs> You said 7 and 6 No I got 6 and he got 7 7, seven. Okay Breath. um we'll take uh, yeah we'll yeah. jack and then taken in the rear is Carver. Ooh. Uh, Carver yeah. prefers to be in the rear. <laughs> uh, is all right. taking it in the rear or he's taking in the bitch he might be? Call him A, call him B. Ooh, say potato. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I say. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and start things off. So first off, it's actually got two of them are going to be going first. Um, so... Because I, I basically split them into two separate initiative rolls, and the first one rolled a natural 20. So um, the two on the left, the orange and green one, are going to start things off. Um, and the first one is just going to go ahead and on his staff, um, he's going to go ahead and cast a light. Um, so that way he can kind of brighten the room up a little bit. And nice. the second one is going to aim out at Carver. Um, and let me just go ahead and double check here. Um, because <clears throat> actually I don't have it on me. Almost here. Uh, this is me fucking something up, so I apologize. Boo. And it happens. I'm still new to all this. That's because you couldn't see my desk Whoa. whenever I was DMing. Like, whenever I DM the level three, like, that I desk, hate DMs, am I right, guys? <laughs> yeah. Like... I literally took up like half the desk. Someone say right. garbage people. Okay, yeah, no, we got. I, 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 I was, I was correct. Um, uh, so the first one, uh, or the second one, is going to point out at Carver um, and cast Sacred Flame. So I need you to make a, a, a dexterity save for me. So much dex. Sacred Flame is dex, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sure. twelve. That is a failure. May I ask which one did it? Uh, the orange one. Orange one. Orange. Which, I, which one's bladder. orange? I can't see it. The one closest to, uh, or sorry, the yeah, the one closest to, yeah, that oh, that one. Okay, closest to the bottom of the screen. Uh, you uh, take two points of radiant damage. Two. Oh, I forgot to bring a laser pointer. We should all probably get one. Okay. Um. So that is their uh their turn. Um, so, yeah. Uh, first up is Felder. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to, uh, hold my action okay. until I get a clear line of sight. Yep, you are kind of congested in front of you. <laughs> right. Um, and with a... Hmm, how do I want to do this new abilities? Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Uh, no, I'm going to hold hold my action, and then I'm going to put my hand on... Um, who do I want to do this to? On Trev's back. Okay. And I'm going to whisper in his ear. Uh, do I know what color dragons these are? Uh, they're just—they're not necessarily like a color dragon. Like they don't really have like a resistance or anything to that. Um, they are, um, yeah, they don't have any resistances, so they're not necessarily like a color dragon or anything like that. I'm gonna touch him on the back, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna whisper in his ear, and I'm gonna say, "Go shoot lightning, big boy!" And I'm gonna touch him, and I'm gonna imbue him with dragon's breath. Uh, you can now uh, breathe lightning uh, of three d six damage. 
Uh, and it's a deck save for them. Is this a cone or a line? It is cone. a cone. Ooh. So we do know they are cobalt. They are cobalt. Yes. Okay. But I will cobalt magic user thingies. Gotcha. Yeah. I was going to say, if you want to make uh, another intelligence check on your turn, um, you can go ahead and try and gather what they are more, uh, but that's up to you. Um, so then, is that going to be your turn there? Yeah, uh, I guess I'm going to hold a, a firebolt um, until I get a clear line of sight to... Um, I, I want to be able to get a clear line of sight to this guy. Now, but since you did just cast a spell... It's a bonus action. Okay. Cool. Is it? Mm-hmm. Dragon's Breath is a bonus action. Oh, cool deal. Sweet. All right. Um, and I can do a bonus, a, a spell on a cantrip, and firebolt's a cantrip. No, you, that part's right. I just didn't know that it was a bonus action for Dragon's mm-hmm. Breath. I've played that a was. wizard before, so uh, I'm learning. Um, okay, so that means uh, since you guys all rolled like shit, uh, it's the other two. Um, they're the ones that are up now. Um, so one of them is uh, going to. Um, let me just look at one other thing in here. How big? 15 foot? 20, I think. 20. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, no, 15. You're right. No dead air. No dead air. <laughs> How are we treating cones, by the way? How are we treating I think cones? it's one, two, three, and then anyone within that, like, area is affected. But is it like... It's a 50... One- yeah, yeah, it's a fifteen foot. Yeah, cone. I would one, two, three is what I would assume a cone is. But, but like, oh, you mean like a horizontal row? Yeah. So like, can you see the battle map? Yeah. Okay. So like, one, two, three, one, two, and one, or like wherever directly in front of you is one, then it's two, and then it's three. If it's a fifteen foot cone. Oh, that, that's what I was trying to trying to ask because yeah, I think that's I, it, it's like an off center cone. I think that yeah makes sense. We'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um. Okay, so uh, with that being said, then we're going to move on to the other two's turn. Um, one of them is going to reach down to the ground and use a spell slot um, to go ahead and touch one of the dead kobolds on the ground and cast Cure Wounds. Um, so he's going to bring one back to life. Uh, so now there's another kobold on the field right there. Um, Which one was it? Uh, the blue one. Okay. And then the other one is uh, going to um, go out towards Trev um, and Trev, or not go out towards Trev, but he's going to take a couple steps forward. Um, So we'll go like this. And uh, Trev, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, no. Because you're next to me, you get plus three on saves. Oh, thank God. Natural 20. Ooh, All right. Cool. So, um, he is going to say kneel, and you're not going to do anything. Motherfucker got command? Okay. All right. Um, so with that, that's going to end their turn. Trev, you're up. What's up? Being told what to do. That was the purple one that told you something. Uh, that was. 